Gene expression can be complicated, but I have an analogy to help you to understand the process that vitamin A goes through in order to upregulate the expression of different genes. As you know, retinoic acid is the most important form of vitamin A for signaling into the nucleus to upregulate gene expression. And so that is going to be retinoic acid. And here we have a bride and groom who are in their respective limos driving to the parking lot of the church where they're going to get married. And of course, in good fashion, they're a little bit late. And so the maid of honor and the best man are waiting in the parking lot thinking, where have you been? Oh my goodness, you need to get here immediately. So they retrieve them from the limos and chaperone them to the entrance of the church through the parking lot, like this. And the church is the nucleus, this turquoise part of the cell. And so what happens is that they drop them off and pass them off to the mother of the groom and the mother of the bride. And they're very excited about becoming one big family. And so now those intracellular in nuclear receptors, RAR and RXR, which are the mother of the bride and groom, dimerize, which represents them being enthusiastic about their families becoming one, and they walk each of them down the aisle to the altar, which is the DNA, and the zinc fingers are what bind to the retinoic acid response element, which is a special promoter region on the DNA uh, strand. And ultimately, what brings them together in marriage is that there's a priest there. So the priest is RNA polymerase in this scenario. And what he does is reads the vows and produces the final product of marriage. And so as he reads across his script and brings these two together, he's reading across the DNA and slowly spitting out an RNA molecule. So this is messenger RNA. The messenger RNA is a code for a lifelong of love and companionship and that leaves the nucleus or the church and goes out into the cytosol of the cell like so and the ultimate goal of gene expression is to make a protein and so ultimately this RNA gets translated into a beautifully folded protein which in this scenario would be a baby that the bride and groom had after they got married.